coverage of the Palmerston North Gold Cup Festival brought to you by Kamada Park, the home of winners. Racing millimeter a trot, slow the inside, big time Jane accelerates the lead quickly, big time the rail gets into its work as well, pushing forward the outside, big time fly gets the second, couple trying to make ground wide, big time Patty and big time McDaddy, millimeter has been shuffled, so is Shady Snapper, millimeter in trouble with big time the rail have gone back big time, Meva Sydney the favourites are turning in about fourth, starting to wind up though, in front is big time flyer, over on the outside big time McDaddy claims it, Meva Sydney late, big time McDaddy wins the first, from Meva Sydney big time flyer, big time Jane Jane Wheaton to fourth. Next to go by was Shady Snapper. Was a touch stiff behind those runners then to big time Paddy. One full lap of the track, ready, set. Racing speed in the middle there from Gold Star Coco. She's going to try and slide across to the lead. She gets there now from Vicarious, nice and handy. Jojo's there as well. A run through now for Stinger. Then we've got Tranquil Blossom. She's on the rail in fifth. The next one now was Corborn Sense. Then we've got Diner Elk's got too much to do, you'd think. And the last one, Corborn Esky. Out of the back, they come and drive into the lead now. Vicarious hits the lead from Gold Star Coco. Jojo's still there. Corborn Sense around the outside. And Tranquil Blossom still in traffic. I'll go back to the front. Vicarious, he's got five. Five links to the better of Jojo around the outside of Gold Star Coco. Tranquil Blossoms driving home too late, but Vicarious impressively gets the prize. Seven beats two. Vicarious the prize from Tranquil Blossom found the line strongly for second. Then we had Jojo in third. Corborn Sense was the fourth one home. Then Gold Star Coco, Dinah Elk, Corborn Esky. He was having a cold day today, Corborn Esky. And the last one in there must have been Stinger. Racing, crazy kicker astride, slow here, bolting to the lead was Feel the Force coming across with it. Molly O'Shea into a nice spot up and around the outside. Corborn Britty behind these runners. Corborn Barcia, crazy kicker with a job to do. Corborn Palmer tries to get around that and checks crazy kicker back to last. Uh, getting past it here was Mr. Ebby. Well back in the piece, Corborn Barcia now in big time Monty as well. On the corner, Feel the Force in front under siege though. Molly O'Shea and Corborn Britty down the outside and Mr. Ebby up the centre. Corborn Britty, Mr. Ebby. Ooh, it's a head bob. Corborn Britty or Mr. Ebby. Behind them third was Molly O'Shea, and next to go by Field the Force. Behind that then to uh, Corborn Palmer, Corborn Barcy, a crazy kicker. set racing right and over is the slowest to go one of the best out here big time dazzler's jump today could be his day big time rise coming after it and five eyes right on over hooked to the outside starts to burn corborn angus is a wee bit closer in behind those runners into big time power watch my back as well back today and corborn owen up to the corner comes big time dazzler in front right and over right around the outside five eyes is plugging away then we've got uh, big time rise is coming home quite nicely and so too is big time power but right and over's in easily big time power might have got up the second alongside five eyes not much in that is followed across then by corborn angus beside that there was a big time rise he just died on her run further back in the race then to corborn owen alongside of uh, watch my back Lourdes and racing Corborn Crowley best away and goes to the lead although coming out after it there was Corborn Toddy handy enough the inside there Jon Snow lives followed around the outside then uh, just getting a little bit of a shuffle there would have been Tranquil Roo and getting past it Hypocritical gets to the rail trying to follow it through was big time Bell well back to Allegro Betty Nighthawk Rose is back with Tranquil Roo just ahead of it now Corborn Crowley in front Corborn Toddy having a shot at it further back on the race into big time Bell and Hypocritical Corborn Crowley's getting tired 
Ooh, it's tight. Corborn Crowley or Corborn Toddy who had a lunge. Big time bell to third. Followed across then by John Snow Lives and Nighthawk Rose was getting home. Hypocritical dying on its run. Tranquil Ruin Allegro beating. Racing, big time Jason away, okay. Paul Dozer bounded to the lead here from big time Jason. Big time back again, it's handy enough. Corborn Trixie beside that out wider, then spare some time. Back in behind these runners, Alan Hadrian getting up and around a couple of runners. They are Viva La Vixen and Corborn Jarrett missed the kick today. Paul Dozer in front here, big time back again, looms the outside. Big time Jason's two links away. Corborn Trixie next in behind them with Alan Hadrian the rail and out wider, spare some time. Paul Dozer's kicking away. This will be a second win in New Zealand, no problem. Second over was big time Jason. Corborn Trixie got to third. Big time back again, retreating late, but got fourth. Alan Hadrian next to go by. Followed back in the pack then by spare some time. Viva La Vix and Corborn Jarrett. Racing, top prosecutor stepped not too badly. Now bombing the start big time lady is about eight links last. Getting off out wide here, Bear into square accelerates to the lead. Map My Run gets to second, followed through there by Absinthe Minded. Outside of that two Bushmen Smile. Get back, the others, they can't be in it, includes top prosecutor. Uh, Corborn Brick, big time lady, and a mile off them here, Corborn Clover. They are scattered, Bear into square in front. Map My Run goes to it, the outside. Absinthe Minded with the last dab. Map My Run from Absinthe Minded, Bear into square third. Fourth to go by was Bushman Smile. Big break back then, Corborn Brick. A lot of these dogs in trouble. Big time lady bombed the start. Top prosecutor didn't hit out at all and nor did Corborn Clover. <laughs> Racing. Shandell stride slow, Team Maria bolts out, thrilling flow goes forward, takes up the lead and Gold Star Jaggers coming after it with Shandell who crosses Team Maria who is last for the lap to run, it's thrilling flow by four on Gold Star Jagger, gifts the rail there to Shandell and five back to Team Maria, thrilling flow, hard on the lure, out by six links on Shandell, she eyes her up down this long back straight, two links away Gold Star Jagger and about six or seven trying to get back into the races, Team Maria, thrilling flow, clear by seven or eight, Shandell trying to close her down, two and a half away then Gold Star Jagger and Team Maria can't go with him. Thrilling Flow has a big break coming to the corner. Shandell calling on all the reserves now. Gold Star Jacker dropping off Shandell and further back to Team Maria. Thrilling Flow. She's getting tired now. Shandell lengthening. Won't get narrow. Thrilling Flow is in. Falling's at the line on Shandell. About five away third. Then Gold Star Jacker. And last to go by was Team Maria. Thrilling Flow. Set to run. Racing. American Warrior stepped away only moderately off the inside. Timid Turtles out fast. The Legro Gun goes forward, poking up between runners then to Letron. James Marks Boy the inside. There's American Warrior. He switches across to the rail and gets up inside the leader. That'd be followed then by Storm Warning out wide and it's making some ground. Marks Boy has got back. So too has the Springer Legro. Power Jimbo just in front of that around the corner. American Warrior loomed up the outside of Timid Turtle. Finishing on quite nicely here. Storm Warning and Letron. James American Warrior is in. Money lands and so does the 10% cheer. Second to go by was Tim Timid Turtle Storm Warning with very good Letron James. Uh, then we would have had him behind there, Mark's boy. Uh, behind that runner to a par with Jimbo Spring Allegro and Allegro Gun got tired, finished towards the rear. Coverage of the Palmerston North Gold Cup Festival brought to you by Kamada Park, the home of winners.